Welcome to today's episode of the Mindset Mentor Podcast. I am your host, Rob Dial. And if you have not yet done so, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another episode. And if you're out there and you love this podcast, please give us a rating and review on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or however you listen to us. It really helps the show grow. Today, I'm going to be giving you three tips to follow through with what you say you're going to do or three tips to basically stop giving up on the things that you said you were going to do or the things that you started. I'm going to teach you how to push through when you feel like giving up because all too often, like I get, guys, I get a lot of messages. I get a lot of Facebook messages. I get a lot of ton of Instagram messesages and I read through all of them. I don't always get time to respond because I get a lot, like 40 to 50 a day on average. I read through all of them. And one of the things that I see from people, time in, time out, time in, time out, I hear people and how they start something and then they give up too soon. It's so easy. People will start and they'll be so excited like a diet, for instance, or <clears throat> a workout plan. They're gonna say, all right, for the next 60 days, I'm gonna do this, this, and this. And the first day they're like, new me, you know, especially this happens at the, at the beginning of the year. New year, new me, I got this, we're gonna do this. And they're, they're focusing on being this person they wanna be. And day one, it's like, yes, I did it, so excited. And then day two, you're like, all right, I'm pretty excited, let's go. And you do it and you're like, yes, I feel good. And then day three, you're like, oh, okay, let's do it. Let's, let's go. And you do it. And then day four, day five, day six, day seven, and at some point in time, you fall off, right? Think about how many times you have started something with excitement, with intention, going into it. You made a plan, but then some, some point in time, you gave up. Somewhere along the way, you didn't finish. Now, think about this for a second. That thing that you gave up on three years ago, that business that you gave up on three years ago, where could it be today if you didn't give up? That relationship, where could it be today if you didn't give up? That business, where could it be today if you didn't give up? Because all too often people give up and time is going to pass anyways. So we might as well be doing something that is going to be helping us create the future that we want, right? If you started something, if you started that business, if you started that workout plan, you started it with the intention of finishing it, didn't you? You did. You started with the intention to finish. You wanted to finish it. You probably still wish you would have finished it. So why aren't you doing it though? Why are you giving up? Because you went into it, I'm gonna do this 60 days straight of working out, Maybe you're like, I'm gonna do that 75 hard thing. I'm so excited to do it. You were excited to finish it. You wanted to finish it. You right now wish that you would have finished it. So why the hell did you give up? The answer is very simple, super simple. I remember hearing Kevin Hart talk about this one time. It's the simplest answer in the world. You gave up because giving up is easy. You gave up because giving up is easy. Giving up is the easiest thing to do in the world. It requires nothing of you. It requires nothing of you. So you gave up. Instead of taking the hard route, instead of following through, instead of doing what you needed to do. And if you continue to keep doing that pattern over, over and over and over and over again, you're not going to have the life that you want. In fact, you're probably going to be very displeased with what your life looks like when you get to the end of it. It requires nothing of you to give up and giving up is the easiest thing to do in the world. It's not that you stopped caring about the end result. It's that you chose the easy route. No great life has ever been created by taking the easy route. And you're not listening to this podcast because you want to take the easy route, right? You're here because you're hoping that I can give you some secret sauce to get you to actually take action when you know you're supposed to take action. That's why you're really here, right? Hopefully Rob's going to be able to brainwash me into actually doing the shit that I need to do. You're here because you want to get better at taking action. You want to get better at taking the hard route. You want to take the road less traveled. But you've given up so many times. How are you going to give up? And then think that the next time you're going to be able to follow through. And you've heard me say it before, but I'm going to say it again, over and over and over again. Life is either hard now and easy later or hard now and easy later. Life is going to be hard at some point. But the beautiful thing about being a human is you get to choose 
when you want it to be hard. And I don't know about you, I'd rather have life be harder now when I'm younger. I am the youngest and you are the youngest that you will ever be. You won't ever be younger than you are right now. So you might as well take the harder route now because when you're 60, 70, 80 years old, yeah, it's gonna be way harder. I don't want it to be hard when I'm older. I want life to be awesome when I'm older. And here's what's great about it. When you make life hard now, it usually becomes very easy very quickly. And so you have to realize from the very beginning of this, there's not a part of you that stopped caring. There's not a part of you that didn't want to do it. There's not a part of you that didn't want to finish. You wanted to finish. You probably still wish you would have finished, but you didn't. So don't say, oh, I didn't have enough time. Oh, I didn't have enough time. Gay or V, I've heard him say him one time, don't say you don't have enough time. Just simply say you don't give a shit and see if that changes your perception on something. Oh, I don't have enough time to build the business that I want to to create the financial security for my family. No, say, I don't give a shit about building the business to create financial security for my family and see how that makes you change the way that you feel. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys three tips to help you push through when you want to give up. And so you wanted some secret sauce. That's why you're here. This is what I'm going to give you. Okay. The first thing I want you to do, <clears throat> and mind you, you might not like any of these, but these are all going to help you if you do actually take action with them. Number one, train yourself for what's hard. Just train yourself for what's hard. The reason why you take the easy route is because you've always taken the easy route because you're used to taking the easy route. You're not used to taking the hard route. When I was younger, I was super lazy. I didn't do anything with myself. I, would ha I had no accomplishments and I gave up on everything. But one day I hired a coach. I started working with that coach and they started training me mentally on what it is that I needed to do and change in my life. And over time, I got better at following through and better at following through and better at following through. And now it actually pisses me off to give something up so I would much rather go and finish something. I didn't used to be that way. I used to be the give up person. So train yourself for what's hard because if you do what's hard, it will become easier to do what is hard later on as well. This is why I'm such a fan of cold plunges and cold showers. I hate them. I absolutely hate cold showers. There's no part of me that is excited to jump into a cold shower, but I love cold showers. Not because it feels good. No, it hurts. I was in the cold plunge the other day and it was 39 degrees and literally within the first 30 seconds, I was like, my, um, my feet hurt. It feels like there's nails going into my feet. I knew I wouldn't die. I knew I was going to be fine. I knew it was more mental than it was physical and I was trying to train my brain into not giving up. I said I was going to do it. I'm going to do it. I hate it, but I love it. No matter how many cold plunges or cold showers I take or how many you take, you will never look forward to the next one unless you're just some weird sadistic person. I do not. And I don't know many people that do look forward to them. It's just like, you got to get it done. You're training yourself to do what you need to do because what happens is right when you're about to jump into that cold water, you have that little voice pop in your head. Hey, don't do this right now. Hey, no, this isn't the thing that you want to do. No, don't, don't jump into the cold shower. Nobody will hey, just skip today. Just skip today. This is dumb. This is dumb. Why, why do you need to jump? Are you going to listen? You're going to listen to that podcast guy and just jump in a cold shower because it says that's stupid. You guys know what the hell he's talking about, right? And all that little voice keeps coming back, keeps coming back. It keeps coming back. And the thing about it is then you're like, screw it. I'm going to do it anyways. And that movement into doing what you don't want to do is a practice you can do over and over and over again. Here's the crazy thing about it too, right? Other day, other day I jumped in my cold plunge. I was in and it wasn't like I was in and then the voice just disappeared, right? The voice was like, get out, 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 get out. All right, you did what you're supposed to do. You're in it, right? I wanted to be in for five minutes. I'm about 14 seconds in and my, my brain is going, get out, just get out. You jumped in the cold, dude, you did what you said you're going to do. Cool. You did that hard thing today. Get out, you know, just jump in, get out of it. You know, you said you're going to be here for five, but just get out of one. No big deal. No one will ever know that you were in this cold water for only one minute when you said you're going to do five. Nobody will ever know, but you will know. And that's where your confidence is built. Oh, you know, you're in the cold shower. Oh, you're in a cold shower. Ah, you know, it's pretty cold. Just make it a little bit warmer, dude. And it keeps coming and it keeps coming. The voice just keeps coming and it keeps coming and it keeps coming. And you just get better at not listening to the voice. The voice never, at least from my point of view, I've not been able to get that voice to disappear. I just learned to stop listening to it. 
It's the one that makes you give up. It's the one that says, don't go to the gym. It's the one that says, hey, you know, sleep in when you said you're going to wake up. It's the one that says, hey, you wanted to go for a run. Don't go for a run, dude. You had a long day yesterday. It's the, or even today. Oh, you want to go for a nightly run? Man, you know what? You had a long day. You deserve to chill and watch some Netflix. It's the mental gym to do what needs to be done regardless of how you feel. And that brings us to our next point, which is number two. Do what needs to be done regardless of how you feel, aka stay consistent. Somebody asked me what I think the number one key to success is, and I just said consistency. Consistency to do it, do it day in, day out, day in, day out. I was watching a video the other day. Alex Ramosi was saying, the people who have, who have mastered life and become the most successful just become okay with doing the boring things every single day, right? I don't want you to be motivated. I don't want you to be skilled. I don't want you to be amazing. I don't want you to be better than everybody else. I just want you to be consistent. I want you to show up every single day because you're not showing up for other people. You're showing up for yourself. And I want you to show up for yourself every single day because when you show up for yourself, that's a mental win. That's a little, I always say it, I, always, I, I just think of confidence as like little Jenga blocks, little Jenga blocks. And when you show up and you do what's hard or you do what you're gonna do, you're supposed to do or when you stay consistent, it's like one little block, one little Jenga block of, of just like believing in yourself. Just that one little block of confidence. And I'm trying to stack as many of those as possible. When you see a confident person, you're seeing somebody who has built themselves. So I want you to be consistent over everything else. Just show up and do what needs to be done regardless of how you feel. Decide what your goal is. Plan out what actions need to be taken to get there, what you want your life to be and what you need to do to get there. Figure out what actions need to be taken each day and then just show up and do it. And will you, will you feel fear? Sure, of course you will. You're going to feel fear almost every single day. But one of my favorite Will Smith quotes, it sucks. I, I always quote Will Smith and I always have, but it's kind of hard to quote, quote Will Smith now after all the things that happen, right? So it's like, I hope, I hope one day the Will Smith quotes uh, that I say all the time mean what they used to mean and that people can take them uh, to heart. When you're looking at somebody, okay, he made a mistake, flawed individual, we're all flawed. But if you look at everything he's done across his life, he's done some pretty amazing things. He's made a pretty amazing life for himself. And one of the things that he says is he says, if you can't overcome fear, just do it scared. You're still doing it. You're just doing it scared. If you can't overcome fear, just do it scared. Don't give up. Just do it scared. Just do it worried. Just do it angry. Just do it pissed off. Just do it sad. But do it no matter what. The person who is the most consistent in the long run, over time, you fast forward, five years, 10 years, 20 years from today, the person who is the most consistent, I will put my money down that that person will win in the long run. Slow and steady wins the race. Don't worry about tomorrow and all of the things that need to be done and paralysis by analysis of all the stuff that needs to be done tomorrow and the next week and over the next month. And oh my God, over the next five years, these are all the things I need to do to create success. No, don't worry about tomorrow. All that needs to be done today is all we need to focus on. Just take action today. You can't take tomorrow's actions today. Just take them today. Don't think about your wins and losses of yesterday. If you had an amazing day yesterday, that means nothing today. Taking action today is all that matters. Yesterday's actions, yesterday's wins, yesterday's failures, they mean nothing today. Today is all that matters. Can you win the day? Yesterday's successes and failures mean nothing today. Take action no matter how you feel. And then number three, the third thing is to have a why. Why are you doing it? When you find this goal, you know, you're, this goal of wanting to work out 60 days in a row, why are you doing it? It's not just to look better. There's a lot of things that are going to happen when you do that. How much more confident you're finally going to be in yourself. How are you going to be healthier for your children? How are you going to live longer? How it's going to be easier later on down the road because you're going to be more mobile. Find a why that's going to drive you. It goes back to the quote, when you think about giving up, remember why you started. When you're about to give that thing up because it's the easiest thing to do in the world, remember why you started. This will push you to take action even when you don't feel like doing it. It'll push you to take action when you feel like you've lost yourself. It'll push you to take action and to be consistent when you just don't want to get up and do it. If there is a strong why behind what it is that you want to do, you can always figure out how to get yourself up and do it. 
my very first mentor, my very first coach that I hired when I was 19 years old, he used to always say it. If you've listened to podcasts for long, if you've heard me say this over and over again, if the why is strong enough, the how will reveal itself. If your why as to why you want to work out for those 60 days in a row is strong enough, you'll figure out how to do it every single day. If your why is strong enough as to why you want to build that successful business for your family, the how will eventually pop up. But if you don't have a strong why, if you're not focusing on why you want to do something, it makes it so much easier to give up in the moment because you've lost the reason why you want to do it. So when you think about giving up, remember why you started. Because there was a part of you, there was a person at some point in time in the past who really wanted to finish it. So if you're struggling with giving up too early, take these three tips and remember that the reason why you give up is because it's easy. Stop doing what's easy. Go and actually do what's hard. Show up every single day, be consistent, and have a really strong why. So that's what I got for you for today's episode. If you love this episode, please share it on your Instagram stories and tag me in it, Rob Dial Jr., R-O-B-D-I-A-L-J-R. And you might have heard me say it, but we have a brand new, well, I guess it's kind of brand new. We have 21,000 followers on the podcast, the Mindset Mentor Podcast Instagram. We've been sharing clips from the podcast, but also some unreleased footage uh, never before seen from speeches that I've given before, live speeches in front of a thousand people. And, uh, and you know, there's some extra tips on there. So if you want some extra tips, follow us on Instagram, The Mindset Mentor Podcast. Once again, The Mindset Mentor Podcast on Instagram. And I'm gonna leave you the same way I leave you every single episode. Make it your mission to make someone else's day better. I appreciate you and I hope that you have an amazing day.